Hi, my name is David Gordon Green. I'm the director and writer of Prince Avalanche. Hello. So the film takes place in the aftermath of a major wildfire that has uh, ravaged through central Texas and a lot of, a lot of homes and, and uh, you know, thousands of trees have been destroyed. So we're picking up at a point in the film where Emil Hirsch's character has left to go to the big city for the weekend and have some fun and uh, he has left Paul Rudd's character Alvin uh, to his own devices that weekend to kind of explore the ashes and evidence of this wildfire and, and uh, in doing so kind of explore himself. On this journey he uh, meets this woman played by Joyce Payne. Um, this, this sequence was not in the screenplay but when we were location scouting um, one of my producers, Craig Zobel, and my assistant director, Attila, had, had happened upon Joyce. And Joyce was in this very location, sifting through these very ashes, looking for her pilot's license. They called me immediately after meeting her and, and telling me her extraordinary story and her very unique voice. And um, I became really excited about the prospect of, of integrating her into the film. So we brought... Paul and a crew of three people. I think we had an assistant camera. Uh, Tim Orr was our uh, cinematographer and camera operator, and then Chris Gebert was recording sound for us. And uh, we brought Paul and, and went and spoke with spoke with Joyce this morning. And she didn't know who Paul was. She was just eager to tell her story and be herself for us. And in the editing process, Colin Patton, our editor, uh, had the concept uh, of detaching the dialogue from the actual uh, face of Paul, so... I'm just looking for the pilot's license with the logbook. Was the pilot's license a piece of paper? Uh, for the most part, when you see him uh, and hear him, it is not in sync with his, his mouth. To get, get, give it an otherworldly feel, we started to kind of create her uh, into a mystical character, not necessarily one that was uh, on this earth of this moment, but someone that may or may not have uh, survived this fire. And but, um, You never know when miracles happen. You could find it. I wanted to kind of create a mythical presence to her. To you. you too.